Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to my channel, Practical Programming with Dr. Su. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with WebGPU graphics programming. In the last few videos, we discussed how to use multiple pipelines to create a 3D surface chart with two wireframes. One is on the front face and another one is on the back face. In practice, we usually don't use this approach to create 3D surface charts. Instead, we use anti-aliasing to smooth out the jaggies appeared on the lines and edges of our wireframe. Mathematically, aliasing is caused where a continuous signal is transformed into a discrete set of values by sampling. Rasterizing a line or object can also introduce spatial aliasing, that is, using a fixed number of pixels to represent a line or object is always associated with aliasing. For example, here we try to use a resolution of 10 by 10 pixels to render a triangle. As you can see, the resolution is too low to display this triangle without aliasing. Particularly, to create this diagonal line, the pixels have to be aligned point by point, which leaves their jagged edge, which is the orange of the aliasing. One approach to reduce this jagged effect is called supersampling anti-aliasing, or SSAA. It simply renders a scene at a higher resolution and then downsampling to a lower resolution output. Higher resolutions make the jagged effect less visible, but this approach requires more advanced hardware and more processing power. MSAA, or multi-sampling anti-aliasing, is a low-cost approach for improving the quality of rendering by reducing the jaggies along the edge. MSAA works by using multiple samples per pixel for color and depth during rendering process. It then reduces these samples to a single value per pixel once the render is completed. Most GPUs are optimized for storing four samples per pixel, but higher MSAA levels are possible in some of the newer products. Currently, WebGPU only allows one or four samples per pixel. Here shows one sample per pixel. It's one pixel and one sample. This triangle here has the jaggies at its edge. Here shows four samples per pixel. You can see we get a much better triangle shown here. In this video, I will show you how to use MSAA in a web GPU application to recreate the 3D peep surface chart discussed in the last video. Here, we will use Git tool to clone the source code used in the last video and then make corresponding changes to the source code to build the project used in this video. Now, let's start Visual Studio Code directly from Windows Start menu here. This is uh, Visual Studio Code uh, interface. Now, let's start a new terminal window and cd into code folder. Inside this folder, make a new directory md gpu56 and cd into it. Now, we can 
clone the source code used in the last video with the command git clone web gpu 50 file after this command we leave a space and a period this will place all our source code in the current folder now run this command we can check direct you can see all the source code is indeed in this current folder now we can open this folder from visual studio code open folder code gpu 56 select it here contains the source code used in the last video now open a new terminal window and run the command npm install to restore all the npm packages used in this example okay finished all installed packages are stored in the node modules folder next we need to make changes to the index.html file from the drst folder open index.html file here we need first to change the 55 to 56 because this is 56 is uh, video we also need to make changes to the h1 title peak surface chart with msaa here we also need to change the parameter dy because we don't need this dy parameter we need to change to sample count sample count value a default value set to 1 and also id divide to sample id sample the other parameters used in this example will be the same as that used in the last video now we can save this file next we need to make some changes to the surface.ts file from src folder open surface.ts file first we need to remove the mass data tool uh, data here mass data and mass data tool because we only need to create a single wireframe so we don't need the mass data tool so we can remove it and also we need to remove the mass buffer tool generated from mass data tool so we don't need this buffer and also here we draw surface and draw the wireframe one wireframe two we don't need this part of the code because we don't want to create a, a second wireframe so we remove this part of the code next we need to add the sample count parameter to the creator surface with color map add here sample count with the default value equal to, to one and also we need to limit this sample count to two values one or four which is required by web gpu so here sample count equals if sample count less uh, equals one we use one otherwise we set it to four so this sample count can take only two values one or four inside render uh, pipelines we need to add the multi-sample attribute here uh, run the pass this is pipeline for create a surface here we need to add the multi multi-sample and the count as define sample count parameter this is for the surface render path 
this is the pipeline for mass, we also need to add this multi-sample theory. Another change is after define the texture of you here, we need to create a new texture like this. Create a texture with a sample count as a sample count, input parameter, which can be either uh, one or four. This texture is used for multi-sampling in MSAA. Then we need to make some changes to the color attachment here. Color attachment, we need to replace this part of the code by the new code here. You can see now the view we change if sample count equals to one, we use the original texture of you defined here before. Otherwise, we use the texture to create a new view. Texture, we just define the new texture for multi sampling. Another change is we introduce a new field called resolve target. Resolve the target. You can see for sample count equals to one, we set it undefined. We don't need this field. Otherwise, we use the texture of you as a resolve target. You can see the texture of you is the original texture of you. We define it as a resolve target right now. Here, the resolved uh, target uh, is used to describe the texture a sub resource that will receive the resolved output for this color attachment if view is multi sampled. Inside the draw function, we need to recreate the texture of U and the texture. So here, we need to replace the code here by the new code like this. Here, this is the original texture of U. We also recreate the texture as defined bef uh, before. So here, we use a sample count. If sample count equals to four, we need to define the resolve target and the view as we define the here. We just rec uh, recreate this text view and resolve the, the target. Otherwise, if we, uh, sample count equal to one, we just use the original text view for this uh, color attachment of you field. But for sample count equal to four, we need to set these two fields. One is a view. We use a texture, create a view. For the resolve target, we use original texture view. Now we finish the modification to the surface.ts file. Now we can save this file and close it. Next, we need to make some changes to the main.ts file from src folder, open main.ts file. We need to replace the content with the new code. Here, we simply replace the dy, original dy here, using the sample count parameter. We set the default value equal to one. And here, we only need one mass uh, data here. The dy field, we use uh, zero. We don't need to use the dy parameter here because we only need to create one uh, wireframe for our surface chart. Here, we define the default parameter. You can see the color map, we use jet, and the mass color, we use black, and a sample count, we use one. We then call the create surface methods to create our 3D peak surface chart with default parameters. This part 
of the code allows the user to recreate the peak surface with different input parameters. Now we finish the modification to the main.ts file. Now we can save this file. Up to now, we have finished all the programming. We can run the command in the terminal window to bundle our TypeScript code in production mode. npm run prod. OK, the bundle file is created successfully. Now we can click the go live link from this status bar area to open Chrome Canary to view our peak surface chart. Click this link. Here is our peak surface with a black wireframe displayed on this page. You can see here the line is almost a discontinued line. You can see the, because our, our, our wireframe overlap with our surface. Now we can change this sample count to 4 and redraw it. You can see here the line becomes a continued line without an aliasing, so give a better the surface chart with a single wireframe. But this time, you can see the line becomes a continuous line because we use MSAA method. You can see how the MSAA in WebGPU can improve the quality of our surface chart. You can change the color, for example, red and also you can get a, a very good wireframe with continue lines. Now we have completed this example. In next video I will discuss how to create domain coloring for functions with complex variables. Most of the examples presented in this video series are based on my recently published book, Practical Web GPU Graphics. From this link, drsu.net.com, you can see the details about this book. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video series. From this link, you can download the source code used in this video series. I also created a live demo at this link. This demo shows the live results by running the example projects presented in this video series. I will end this video here. See you next time. Bye.